Happy Sunday fun day, y'all. It's Chicago Hubby. We're doing some barbecued ribs today. Yum, yum. I haven't done ribs on my own ever. So, this should be interesting. I have all the faith. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday so far. Had a good weekend. Um, today, we're going to be using my uh, spice I got from the wonderful ladies at Adventure in Spice. Check out AdventureInSpice.com and check out Adventure in Spice also on Instagram. All right, so the blend I'm using today is Mississippi Blend with a barbecue seasoning and rub. And it smells so delicious. All right, so, uh, the ingredients on this are brown uated sugar, dehydrated honey, smoked sweet paprika, and sea salt. It uh, describes as warm, toasty overtones and one of our most versatile seasonings. Use it on meat, soup, stews, veggies, and even eggs. AdventuresInSpice.com. Thank you, ladies, for the great samples. So, to get the, the uh, ribs ready, they were frozen um, for a couple weeks, so I took them out of the freezer. I filled this with cold water and let it sit in the cold water bath for about three hours, changing the bath every 30 minutes. And it's perfect. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the seasoning on both sides generously and give it a nice rub. It's Sunday. All the, our meats love a nice rub on a Sunday. Rub, rub, rub. Please make sure you guys check out chicagohubby.com for more recipes, pictures, fun stories. And make sure if you like this video to hit thumbs up, subscribe, notifications, all that great stuff. All right, this looks really nice and seasoned. All right, I'm gonna flip her over and get the other side going. Again, this is my first time ever doing my own ribs. So, I decided to do them in the oven um, rather than the grill this time. Um, I wanted to see what it's like to first just do them in general. Okay, so they look pretty well seasoned. I remember as a kid watching my father like marinate fajitas and stuff. Um, and just kind of being fascinated by the fascinated by the whole thing. Okay, so this to me looks pretty pretty darn seasoned, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover it in foil and leave it in the refrigerator for about three to four hours for it to go ahead and marinate. Alright, well. All right, it's been about three hours. The ribs have been in the refrigerator and marinating using our awesome Mississippi Blend barbecue seasoning from Adventures in Spice. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at them quick. I don't really know why, but see how they look. Ooh, they look and they smell amazing. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. If you can smell these, ooh, lord. Okay. Now that I'm excited, I'm going to put the foil right back over them. And I have put the oven up. Actually, I haven't. My husband put the oven up because we all know I can't use the oven for whatever reason. But it's set at 300 degrees. So put it in the oven for, for two hours. Now, about the last five minutes or so, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put the barbecue sauce on it and put it in the broiler for five minutes. Okay, we'll see you soon. All right, it has been two hours. I just took the ribs out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and barbecue them up and then put them in the broiler for another two to four minutes. So let's see what these look like. Ooh, they look really, really good. Let's uh, temp them. Let's get the temperature on these bad boys. Let's make sure they're good. Uh, it should be 165. 
Oh, definitely. It's, <laughs> it's like 200, so they're done. All right, I did not think ahead on how I'm going to exactly do this, flipping them over, but I have uh, the tongue. The tongue should work, okay. I got my Sweet Baby Rays. Give me a brush. Give this a nice good glaze. I like my real, really saucy. And then they'll, be, they'll caramelize in the broiler. Mmm, he's looking good. I got like my really, really saucy. Uh, make sure you do you, uh, you check out my Instagram, uh, Chicago underscore hubby. Check out my blog at uh, chicagohubby.com. Also, if you want some spices of your own, definitely check out our uh, Adventures in Spice. Once again, Adventures in Spice uh, dot com. Also, Adventures in Spice on Instagram. Definitely follow their their Instagram. They've got some really nice recipes on there themselves. And some really good spices. Okay, I'm gonna turn this over, I guess. I don't really know what I'm, how I'm doing this. I don't think I'm gonna do that side. No, it looks like just the bone side. So you know, I'm just gonna do all of it on the front. Uh, kind of below it, but it's, uh, it, that's not right. So this is my first time making ribs. So I don't know why you do the bone part. Okay. Nice and covered in the Sweet Baby Ray. Um, as you can tell, I'm also uh, cooking some potatoes and a little bit of eggplant. I did use the uh, garlic pepper from the Ventures and Spice. And I also use the Sicilian Odyssey Spicy Italian from the Ventures and Spice, our friends, on the eggplant mix. And I went to use a little bit of Cajun, in, Cajun sauce, or spices on the potatoes. A little, because it's very spicy. All right, I'm going down to put the foil back on. And go down to the broiler. I'm going to get back up. Lord. Switching it to boil. And then it, uh, about two to four minutes while it caramelizes. See you soon. All right, it's been four minutes. We are back. Let's reveal these lovely caramelized ribs. Ooh. They're looking pretty good. I'm gonna try and bring them to the camera. Um, not get burnt. Here I come. These look amazing. I am so excited for these. All right, I'm gonna cover them back up. Let them sit for a little bit yet. Once again, I wanna thank our friends at Adventures in Spice for all these awesome, awesome spices. Please check out the website, adventuresinspice.com. Also check out their Metro the Spice Instagram page and order some of your own. It's good stuff. All right, I will see you all next week. Have a good week.